The following video is on making hummingbird food. Cane sugar, beet sugar, GMO. Well, I found out some shocking truth. So now let's go on to the video and you'll find out what I found out. And I thought, wow, I had no idea. So now you'll know too. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to answer the million dollar question. It may not be worth a million. It could be for me, the way I feed the hummingbirds. There's a lot of questions on what is better to feed the hummingbirds. Is it better to feed uh, sugar from sugar cane? Is it better to feed them from sugar beet? Which sugar are they going to eat? Sugar cane is a plant that grows, as you know, above the ground like big grass and it grows like bamboo and they process it and once they process sugar cane, it's called cane sugar. Sugar beet, it is a gmo vegetable. let's say it's a vegetable, there's no seeds in it, and it was made and produced to produce a lot of sugar. It grows under the ground and then they process it and they make sugar out of it and then it's called beet sugar. So you've got two different types of sugar that you could end up buying. What is the difference between the two? Beet sugar generally is gmo Cane sugar can be gmo In 2018, they were allowed to start in the United States to GMO cane sugar. So if it doesn't say, it's hard to say whether it's been gmo or not. But you know what? From all the research I've done at this point, it doesn't matter. And the reason it doesn't matter on that is because it is so processed. They take both of them and they're processed heavily into a syrup and then turned into sucrose is what the end result is. And that's why it doesn't matter. Now the other thing, cane sugar and beet sugar, do they taste different? This is beet sugar. Of course it's sweet. We bake with it. We do all kinds of stuff with it. Most of our foods end up having beet sugar in it because it's cheaper and they seem to process a lot more of that. Now, sugar cane. I can taste the difference and there is a difference. I process a lot more cane sugar every day. I usually use cane sugar in large vats because we feed thousands of hummingbirds. And with the beet sugar, I've been trying to not introduce it. There were times I had an issue. I wanted to you know, get some of that in here for an emergency. Beet sugar, it's sweet, but it almost has an aftertaste, kind of almost a burnt flavor, almost. You would have to really compare the two to taste it. This doesn't have that aftertaste and this doesn't have the burnt flavor. This is strictly sweet. So if you were making like a crunchy cookie, they actually use beet sugar for that. And if you were caramelizing something, want to make caramel, they like cane sugar for that. It caramelizes better. All in all, they're using both of them the same. Now, the million dollar question on the hummingbirds. Which is better? Even according to the Hummingbird Society, either one is fine. They lean towards cane sugar when available, go for that. And that's the same thing I do. I do lean towards cane sugar. It was kind of a little interesting once when I was running short, I actually mixed it. So I used one cup of each while I was working with it because it's a quarter of a cup of sugar to one cup of water. Don't dilute it any other way than that. That's the way it goes. The sugar incorporates into the water and you still end up with one cup of fluid when you mix them together. And I use two cups because I'm using eight cups here. So I was mixing one cup of beet sugar and one cup of cane sugar and I kind of noticed that they weren't eating it as much. So I pulled back right away. So what I ended up doing was a complete taste test. I ended up only doing cane sugar and only doing beet sugar. And I spread it around different areas of our property to see what they would eat and alternating feeders too, because as you know, hummingbirds have feeders that they happen to like and they'll go to those. And I labeled the ones that had beet in it. 
made separately, which was interesting. The cane sugar, of course, we all know they drink that really good. But made separately, the beet sugar in their own feeder, which is behind me, I found no difference. They didn't like it mixed, and I don't know why, but separate, they didn't have a problem with it. And they empty the beet sugar. I have beet here and beet in the back just as fast as the cane sugar one, which was really interesting. So I'm not going to mix it. Maybe it did something to it. Maybe it was my imagination. Maybe it was that particular few days that I tried it. Who knows what the reason was. So I don't mix them. So I, when I make beet sugar, a hummingbird food, I pour that into one whole feeder. And when I make cane, I pour that into their own. They generally here 99% of the time get cane sugar. It's only when there's times there's been an issue on maybe getting enough sugar, so I wanted to have this on hand. They're actually both pretty much the same price. It just depends on how you can get it. So as far as, as which one they like better, they alternate, they go around, they go from one feeder to another. I mean, think about it. The flowers in the yard, which they're getting their sucrose out of flowers, they're all going to taste different. Some are going to be sweeter. Some are going to taste a little different. So they get used to it that way, but I have found personally not to mix it. Use one or the other. Experiment on your own. If you've got a lot of hummingbirds, make it separate and see what they like at your area. That could be an issue why some people have told me there's so many hummingbirds and they won't come to their feeders. It's possible the hummingbirds in your area prefer cane sugar and you're putting out sugar, uh, beet sugar and they may come over, taste it and go, because it looks the same. Yeah, I think I like the other one down the block better and go back there. Now, how do you know which is which? Very easy. When you go into the store and you buy cane sugar, it doesn't matter if it comes in a box, it doesn't matter if it comes in a four pounds package, 25 pounds, 50 pounds I bought, it will clearly be marked cane sugar. When it says cane sugar, it is cane sugar. If it just says sugar, and this is white granulated sugar, we're only talking white granulated sugar. If the package, be it a one pound package, five, four pounds, five pounds, 25 pounds, if it says sugar or pure sugar, then the odds are it is beet sugar. They could mix it, it's hard to say. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. They don't have to tell you if it's cane, if it's mixed, it will just say pure sugar. So if it says pure sugar, take the assumption that it is beet sugar. So you know you're getting beet sugar. But cane sugar will always be cane sugar. And try it for yourself and see what your hummingbirds like the best. Because as far as nutrition, either one is good. It just depends on what your hummingbirds like. I personally prefer cane sugar. So there is both available. I have noticed that the beet sugar is more available than cane because everything says sugar on it. If you go to the regular grocery store, your favorite grocery store, and they have their own brand and it says pure sugar or just sugar, granulated white sugar, and it just says sugar, it's going to be beet sugar. So you decide what you want to feed. Do your own taste test. So as far as which one is better, personal preference is cane sugar. But which one is better for the birds in your area will be which one they like. So if you're feeding hummingbirds in your area and they're not coming to your feeders, switch sugars and see which one they like better. If your bag says granulated sugar or pure sugar, you're using beet sugar, switch over, go get a brand that says cane sugar and try that and see if that will bring the hummingbirds in. If it does bring the hummingbirds in, because it is slightly sweeter, very slight, but it is slightly sweeter, then you'll know the people in your neighborhood are feeding, or the area, in your, they could be going five miles to another feeder down the block. They may be going to one that has cane sugar and they like that one a little bit better. If you've got multiple feeders around, try both of them and see which ones they like. So I hope I've given you some suggestions. Both of these products, once they're mixed, is sucrose. It all ends up to be sucrose and that's what they need to digest. They can't digest any of the brown sugars. They cannot digest raw sugar. The only sugar they can digest is white granulated sugar.
Doesn't matter if it's cane sugar, doesn't matter if it's beet sugar. Either one of those, they can digest. If you don't believe me, Google it. You'll find it there. They've known this for many, many years. So I hope I've given you some idea. Remember, it's a quarter of a cup of granulated white sugar to one cup of water. If you can drink your drinking water, your tap water, then they can drink it. If you can't drink it, then use bottled water. I use tap water, our tap water's fine, and our hummingbirds have gone from one to thousands now in the past, what, four years? Ooh, what's that gonna be in the next four years? I don't know. Anyways, try different feeders if you're having an issue. Try placing them in different areas. Make sure they're in an area where they can see the feeders because if they're flying by and they don't know you have a feeder, they're not gonna see it. So put them out where they can see it. Don't use any dye. They don't need the dye. They're only looking for the feeders. They know what the feeders look like. They're smart enough. They're intelligent birds and they have to eat. They have to bring sucrose into their body in order to survive. So they are always on the lookout for feeders. They're always hunting around. That's why these little dots I make, they hunt for these. And I've seen some of my subscribers send me photos of beautiful arrangements they've made using the dots and the hummingbirds have found them. And that has just been wonderful. So put out your feeders where they can see them. Once they find your place, they find your property, your garden, your deck, your balcony, your window, they'll be coming because they remember. They have good memories. So I hope I've given you an idea on how to set this up, how to try different foods, see which one works better for you, and know that beet sugar and cane sugar is really the same. You use what you want, whatever you can get, and whatever's available. With that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. Beet sugar, beet sugar, they've already emptied it. Cane sugar, still full. Bye-bye.